सो हाई गाइज माई नेम शिवम राय आई स्टडिंग गौतम बुद्धा यूनिवर्सिटी उत्तर प्रदेश इंडिया आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट अ टूटोरियल इन दिस वीडियो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो विच आई हैव ऑलरेडी मैंशन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑन बिब्लोमेट्रिक एनालिसिस एंटोमेट्रिक्स एंड डेटा विजुअलाइजेशन विच इज ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड ऑन द चैनल एंड दिस इज द वीडियो ऑन ऑफ व्यूअर ऑफ व्यूअर टूटोरियल राइट इट इज अ सॉफ्टवेयर Uh, which is used to visualize the scientific network bibliographic coupling co-citation analysis uh, co-occurrence of the keywords right so this is the thing and uh, yeah this video is going to be a long video because it, it's a tutorial and i am going to tell you everything each and every a to z about what's where how to use it what is the significance of the graph how to interpret the map how to capitalize the words right is a very main thing because uh, obviously we all want our maps to be aesthetic uh, so yeah this is the thing uh, how to use the excel sheet how to use the labeling to replace data cleaning everything right uh, and yeah, this is going to be the uh, the, the 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 basic uh, highlight of this this tutorial right uh, now i will speak in hindi right so those of you uh, please see the subtitles can on the subtitles the yes, subtitles will be available so uh, basically yaar main abhi jo is video mein basically main wo batane wala hu software kaise kaam karta hai uh, kuch jagahon pe jahan pe interpretation ki baat aayegi wahan pe main hindi mein explain karunga kaise full counting fractional counting kya hoti hai theek hai wo zyada bother karne ki zarurat nahi hai i am going to tell you about ये तो इंग्लिश में भी रहेगा और इतना वेल well, इतनी जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी क्योंकि बहुत आसान है बहुत सवेर को चलाना इतना कोई मुश्किल नहीं है और यही यही रहने वाला है ठीक है तो अब हम स्टार्ट करेंगे अपनी ट्यूटोरियल ओके सो सबसे पहले तो ये कि भाई वॉस व्यूअर वॉट वॉट इज वॉस व्यूअर राइट सो वॉस व्यूअर इज अ सॉफ्टवेयर विच इज यूज फॉर द scientific network analysis right we we use it to map our data which is basically extracted from web of science scopus dimensions pubmed these are the different databases which was we prefer right it is developed by the center for science and technology studies leiden university in netherlands right so this is a software which is coming from the netherlands and also well it is expected that elsevier the company elsevier and the database which it creates scopus also comes from the netherlands on yeah these are the things uh, also i would like to recommend a book which is measuring research what everyone needs to know right you are able to see it uh, this is by kasidi r sugimoto and vincent larry vieri right so obviously this is not a sponsored video but uh, yeah this is a book which i really like it's published by oxford university press and it is a wonderful wonderful book uh, to 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 not give you an introduction of what's where right it is not related to the software it is related to bibliometric scientometric what it is what it was the history what are the indicators h index uh, 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 citation analysis bibliographic coupling what is the role of these indicators how it evolved into what it is present right in the how bibliometrics evolved from its uh, in inception right to to the present so this is a really good book a short book uh, that's why it is uh, I, i i will prefer it also there are two books more which i have already discussed in the uh, my presentation of bibliometric analysis which i have uploaded right so do check out that video do check out that video uh it's it's an in detail video we will if if you will see that video then you don't have to uh, go for any books because it is actually derived from these these books mainly three books right one by west gingras and right uh wasweer also gives you the manual and i think personally as far as i am concerned wonderful wonderful manual uh again it's a it's a, it's, a, it's a 50 page manual and i think it is really really well made manual uh, you well if you will read this manual so by hit and trial 
right by 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 hit and trial method you will learn eventually possible but obviously if there is a tutorial video available you can learn it more easily more quickly uh i didn't have that much access so when i learned this the the, the reason for making this video is this that i really faced difficulties uh during the learning and uh, i thought that why not just share with everyone so that no one uh because i had to spend a lot of time and that that affected uh in my research uh the research which i was doing so it would have been done more 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 early but uh, yeah that's the thing so well but i am happy i am happy that i got to learn by head and trial method and that's the thing uh you an upper edge no doubt if you have time if you have time then i would prefer that uh, you you learn it by hit and trial and then come to see this video what you have left out be really good but if you don't have time then this beauty will be the best yeah this is the thing i am going to take help from manual i am going to take help from uh, every resources available every articles which is going to take right? so basically was where gives you obviously it's it's a so beautiful interfaces right so that's why i prefer what's your over site space site space is a very complex interface and uh, well it take it it will take more time than that actually site space and again there is no tutorial available on internet for the site space so it it sometimes become a bit tedious right? this is the thing uh so info in info they have uh, given info about bossvia right if you will click on the bossvia website you will be directed to this website um uh, yeah this is the thing and what's your website itself is a very 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 well made and well updated website right uh as you can see you can easily download the was view version 1.6.16 the current version uh which was released on november 25 past year uh, uh yeah 2020 right so this is the thing uh feature highlight screenshot well we don't have to get uh getting started we will see downloads uh basically when you will download was here so i would i would like to in fact show you what you will get right when you in okay firstly i will i have to minimize my videos right uh, so i think it now it will be but now i have minimized it so you will be easy to see uh, very simple to operate okay now what is on the getting started thing so uh, introductory video 10 minute introductory video they have uploaded so it's a good good introductory video good introduction then there is this wasware manual uh, which they have already uploaded which they have already given in the software also uh, when you will download it there is a zip file with exemplary data set so that is really good but uh, obviously you will not have data sets from web of science or scopus or dimensions download it uh, i was doing i am doing my dissertation last year dissertation from csir in stats new delhi india so in that only i uh, that institution is related to scientometrics and scientometricians uh, their work uh, right so those those so one of the scientometrician i worked under uh, dr madhulika bhati uh, she introduced me to what's we uh, bibliometrics the field of bibliometrics uh, so yeah during that i learned got to learn about this thing uh, this thing of measuring research and i was really fascinated by this uh, it was really good uh, by the way was we are uh, 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 scientometrics is itself a uh, journal also uh, i think 1978 is 1978 so yeah there's a separate journal uh, book chapter there is uh, which i am going to tell you about uh, and then there is this book yeah this is the thing which is in and then there is download so you can download it for windows mac anything uh, also uh, right there is this they have already described it create a new folder and unpack the downloaded zip file 
in the zip file they have given the information regarding everything so you don't have to really bother about these things then there is publication number of publication discussing was here uh, bibliographic complaint course citation analysis what are the basic tenets of that is really good they have all the so i will only tell you about the main publication although i have also given in the description you will find all the links main 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 links which will be helpful in uh, getting you started with the boss view as a software right yeah we going to be the thing uh and yeah, so now i think i should start you should start with the uh, uh dimensions okay let's start with dimensions let's start with dimension so dimensions dimensions is a is a is a new database which is developed by i think digital science digital science is a company i think has created it has also created the same company which has created alt metrics right to measure the to measure the internet presence of your of your article or of your, uh, whether it got tweeted whether it is mentioned in the blog it will get covered by alt metrics so yeah but, uh, again again i have to attach the video, uh, my 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 video on this top right so do check out that video again i would say that's a wonderful video which i have uploaded covers a to z every aspect of bibliometrics and what is alt metrics what is uh citation analysis everything you will get it right uh uh yeah, this is a uh, this is also available as a app application so you can download it also uh, then it is free of use but some of the things which is not free of cost yeah this is the basic website now we will go to the where it is available for free and scientometric research we will also see that what it mention uh covid 19 by the way we're in in this pandemic in this covid 19 uh, crisis uh bibliometric analysis is really helping and how it helps i will also show you that uh so dimensions right access for free that's access for free Till then we will see what is supporting the scientometric research community. As access to the information needs for the open transparent research indicators. Yes, yes, yes. Mainly scientometric deal with the, the, the science of science. Science of right? measuring researches. So yeah, this is the thing. They also support okay for non-commercial scientometric research projects yeah uh, yeah many corporates use dimensions so that's a really cool thing about dimensions but obviously you have to subscribe for that but it is really good but well, i have to say this thing that if you don't have access to web of science and scopus and dimension is not a bad although i would also say that if someone someone watching this video don't have access to web of science right web of science i will if he or she will mail me uh, at shivam r461 at the rate of gmail.com which i've already mentioned in the description box you will mail me and i will send you the data set of papers related to scientometrics uh, from in its inception that is 1978 to 2020 i have that data so i will i will mail it to you obviously you have to mail right you will it will be helpful right <clears throat> so yeah this is the thing now for example now i have to save or export the files right firstly we will see metric let's see the what are the papers related regarding sign to me right so publications they are publication 73532 publication data set 334 grants 271 patents 106 one of the cool thing about 
dimension is this that they include patents, clinical trials, policy document, but, 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 but. Uh, these there is only available uh, we are only available with the publications data set grants and grant patents and these are the things which will be only available through subscription so obviously this is the thing but this is real again this is really i mentioned this code at least they are providing the publications right then their filters is also real if we see the filters they have years till see 1899 that is really good really good right researchers are there research categories are there publication type is there wow that is really good source title source title is there journal list is there whether if you have to only see the open access Articles, so that is also there. So in that sense, dimension is really good. Now, I have to uh, save the data, right? Export it. Firstly, I have to log in. If you haven't logged in, then you do register. It is really simple to register, not a big deal. So I will firstly I will enter my email. Then I have to enter my password. It will be done, right? Okay, now you can see that here yeah, the save and export is now visible, right? So this is the thing about mention now I will. And okay, let save as favorite export results right so i have to export now it is already given here and how you want to export it export full record comma separated basically the excel file right uh, export for bibliometric mapping and this is the thing which you want right and also there is reference manager right bibtex file format is for bib so it is also good in that way but we have to export it for bibliometric mapping and as you can see, Vosphere is available, Sitespace is available. So for both. So we will be using it for Vosphere. Now I would put it. Also, they send the email and the export is ready. So that is the really thing. Also, a good thing is that, that you can download 2,500 items. Uh, in Web of Science, there is limitation of 500. Right? So that's the thing. Uh, dimension is in that sense also good. Right? export center let's go to export and here it will be downloaded so let's wait for it right let's wait for it to happen till then we will see the so was are is right network visualization overlay visualization density visualization these are some of the formats of visualization although they may have the same thing but different formats again uh, what you can say for aesthetic purpose well i found it for aesthetic purpose it was really good for aesthetic purpose but uh, well uh, not only for that overlay visualization is really important as uh, i will show you why it's important density visualization is also important so well obviously and they are quite aesthetic no doubt in it. quite aesthetic uh then there are different fonts Amble, Fire Sense, Open Sense, Sense Serif. I use generally Amble because it is it is visible, it's quite visible, right? So yeah, uh, I would also show you why. A uh, maximum length. Maximum length means, uh, for example, let's take for example, uh, photochemical carbon dioxide reduction, right? So I am assuming that photochemical CO two reduction, uh, carbon dioxide reduction is going to contain more than thirty words, right? If um, there is this keyword or is there this author or something any institution which contains key uh, which contains uh, the words the, the, the length of the word is more than 30 so basically you can by default it is 30 right generally there is obviously these words are less than but you can either decrease it or you can either increase it. they will include all and 
the main problem with operating voice viewer is it's how you create a map a, a well visualized map and that is the key thing that is the thing uh, which which takes the most amount of time that is thing uh, then there is size variation of the labels labels basically notes items which is by default represented by circle then there is the scale right then there is circles where you want to or by default it is circles but you can also use it as a frames right then you can also use the black background okay uh, so yeah uh, items then items in the uh, clusters basically items can include cluster grouping grouping by cluster and then there is this analysis method normalization fractionalization how do you want to do it attraction repulsion is basically the, the the distance the distance between nodes the distance between circles right then there's this advanced parameter it is what should i say it is really good. it's really good but then there is clustering resolution right the more the resolution the more will be the cluster so yeah and you can even increase or decrease the cluster size then there is this rotation rotation really help rotation really help in uh, actually the, the the main function of rotation is to visualize better uh, for the for the photo uh, because there are some maps which 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 overlap who circle overlap right so if you will rotate it and there is a possibility that it wouldn't overlap and uh, the, 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 the label will be so yeah i think it will be downloaded now yes it is downloaded 7 mb size it depends on your internet connection how fast is that so yeah so i would take it on desktop right desktop okay dimension publication okay okay so it's will be downloaded in a zip file you have to unzip it uh go to it dimension let's see what you are going to get it in dimension style right so this is the excel file everything is there data exported on this 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 title right abstract everything is available abstract is there one one thing which i want to tell you uh, which is also an important thing actually that uh, dimensions the data which you are going to export from dimension is not going to include keywords so that may be that, that may be what yes that is a problem and it doesn't include the keyword by the way you can you can uh you can get a picture of the keywords from title and abstracts that is also a function in possible for those who are who 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 don't have the availability of web of science or scopus data or the databases which use subscription model basically so yeah no so now we will abstract extract it extract it desktop okay okay it is extracted Okay, now so let's start. Bosphere, right? File. We would go on the create. We would we have to create a biblio map based on bibliographic data. We will next, right? We have to use the read data from bibliographic data files. I mentioned PubMed, Web of Science, Scopus. In their manual, they have already provided how to do their things with other databases, PubMed, Web of Science, Scopus. So you can go for it. PubMed, I would not personally prefer. My experience with PubMed was not good, and neither it contained the keyword, neither it 
neither the downloading is good. PubMed is not. I I personally don't prefer PubMed as far as the free free access is concerned. Mention is more. Now I will go to dimensions. Dimension file. Go to the my text. publication i would select it you can also select multiple types data there's also something which i'm going to show you now here comes the main thing counting method full counting fractional counting what is this i'm going to tell you what's your thesaurus file again i'm going to tell you by the way thesaurus file is really helpful as far as the keyword analysis is concerned so in that sense, the thesaurus file is, is important. It is extremely important, I would rather say. So we would see the bibliographic coupling, right? Uh people who don't know what bibliographic coupling is. Suppose that there is an X author and a Y author. Right? And the authors have written a paper. So X has written a paper, Y has written a paper. लेका. ठीक है दोनों के पेपर में रेफरेंसेस की लिस्ट होगी ठीक है तो बिब्लियोग्राफिक कपलिंग नाम से ही पता चल रहा है कि अगर इन दोनों की जो रेफरेंसेस लिस्ट है उनमें से कौन से रेफरेंसेस कॉमन है ये दोनों के दोनों ऑथर्स के पेपर्स एक ऐसे पेपर को साइट कर रहे होंगे जो दोनों में ही कॉमन होंगे तो ऐसे जब रेफरेंसेस की हमारे पास लिस्ट तैयार हो जाती है फिर से हम बिब्लियोग्राफिक कपलिंग कहते हैं तो ये पता चलता है कि इन दोनों ऑथर इस टॉपिक पे काम कर रहे हैं ऑब्वियसली अगर ओवरलैपिंग हो ही नहीं रही रेफरेंसेस की तो इससे हमें क्या पता चलता है कि दोनों के ऑथर्स का जो काम है वो बड़ा ही डिफरेंट है देखो कैसे होता है राइट सो एज यू विल सी रिड्यूस फर्स्ट नेम्स ऑफ ऑथर्स टू इनिशियल्स यू कैन आल्सो डू दैट फॉर एग्जांपल माय नेम इज शिवम राय सो माय नेम विल बी रिड्यूस्ड टू एस डॉट Right. S dot Rai. Right. So yeah. It really helps in visualization. Because sometimes the number is really big. Now also there is this thing called ignore documents with a large number of them. So now it is up to you what kind of documents you want to take. There are some documents. Well it is a very rare case that have that have that have number of authors per document more than twenty five. Right, even 25 is not generally not seen. But uh, so if you will untick this pop, right, it wouldn't be a problem. I would rather say that you untick this. There is no problem, right? It would it would only create a better data. It will give us a better data. That is my perspective. Totally up to you how you want to make your mapping. So now, as you can see, there are 5,112 authors, of which 159 meet the threshold, right? And why they are meeting this threshold? Because the minimum number of documents of an author, right? One author, we are, we are taking those authors who have at least five documents, right? So now, obviously, I can list four document, three document, two document, one document. So they are kind of, but one document is something which will be create a very chaotic map right so it, i would obviously we would prefer less numbers so 248 i think is better. obviously 5 will be better 248 is also not bad you would also get but when now it's up to you how what kind of analysis you do so what's your mapping is actually based on the analysis what kind of analysis you are interested in right so for example you are writing a paper which is consisting top one percent article top ten percent article right uh, highly cited articles i would rather say highly cited top one percent article so in that sense you can obviously you want to take those authors who have very much influence in that particular field on which you are working for example, for example, let's take, for example, photochemical carbon dioxide reduction. 
so there are five authors who have written papers obviously they will be the ones who will who are influencing the field right who are who are who are authority in these fields i'm going to take those authors only uh, but obviously we cannot neglect those authors who have only one paper maybe the one paper is very influential or is groundbreaking right so now it's up to you it's up to the research it's up to the scientometric how he want to create the data so that is really good thing uh, when you will operate your sphere when you will go into this field when you will map the maps right you will realize that it is very manipulative you can manipulate data it is biased it can be biased at most probably it will it is it will be uh, uh, uh it will be biased yes your research is going to be a biased research because you are getting so many factors as you can see right so no doubt no doubt in that right so as you can see now there may be some authors who are repeated who are repeated so that you have to see right that you have to see now uh, as you can see there are authors now you can even export you can export these authors right these authors will be exported in the form of uh, an excel file only right so but not in the form of excel file actually uh, and these will be put it in the form of a text file which you can upload on excel for a betterment for 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 creating a thesaurus file right now how to create a thesaurus file i am going to tell you that so firstly we will see the mapping right now just see this thing unconnected item and it is really a important thing right some of the 159 items in your network are not connected to each other the largest set of connected item consists of 154 items we want to show this set of item instead of all item right so now again it's up to you you want to show the connected items or the ones even those who are not connected to each other uh, i would rather say that you go for no right because again if someone is not connected that doesn't mean that he doesn't he or she doesn't have the influence on that particular field and it's up to you now i would also recommend one thing there is this book called science fictions by stuart ritchie so if you are a if you are a researcher like me who are, who is i wouldn't say who is new to this thing i would rather say who is starting who is entering this field as a career uh, the field of research not particularly scientometrics or bibliometrics but research so i would say that do read that book for building a foundation on ethics principles that would be really helpful science fiction by stuart ritchie i have discussed this book in the video which i have uploaded on bibliometrics and data visualization uh, do check it out and yeah so no now i would see the map now so we, we are going to i am going to tell you everything right regarding every day so yeah error out of memory okay 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 good that's good that's really good <laughs> i would say that okay so there can be instances where the memory is full right the memory sometimes get so well it is not an issue because i am using it uh, very frequently maybe that may be the case right uh, i was also going to tell you about this thing also so let's go for the original file was here right now i will run it from the executable file let's see what happened so this is how it is created license is there history is there files now in the files you have all no okay, okay. this is my personal thing uh exports i think in the exports will be given again it is my file okay 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 it is my file which is going to be data yes this is the file 
this is the file which was we are provided by default here there are every document which can be so there are for example thesaurus for authors thesaurus terms right so yeah that's the thing okay it's open now right now if you want to see the memory about vosphere click on about vosphere you will see right here you can see this thing memory usage bottom of your screen memory usage 49 mb 884 mb so 884 mb is available 49 mb i have used right eight okay so now we will okay we would go on the bibliography data first we will see also create a map based on text data right so let's see let's go right was your files either or bibliographic data obviously so we go to dimension on text data so basically what does this text data mean is basically this that uh, for example there is this article which uh, whose title is this uh, for example let's take uh, signs of science a basic review on scientometrix right signs of science quote unquote a basic review on scientometrix now there will be an abstract which also discuss about scientometrix so what this thing does is this that it takes the keywords from titles right and the number of uh, words which is the most frequent they are used they are going to map those so it is really good obviously the title is indicative of the keywords the abstract uh, is indicative of the keywords so it is really a good method to analyze no doubt but obviously when author yeah, author keywords is provided so that is the best way to analyze but this is this is not this is also you can use it you can use it right i have used it and it is it is you can use it right so there is also that you want to abstract from both fields that is title and abstract or you want to abstract from title only or abstract only right now ignore structured abstract labels and ignore copyright state so there is this also thing so was where in dead center is really good they have made the software i would rather say awesome software right i don't want to degrade this software by telling it awesome using word like awesome but yeah it's good extremely good right so yeah uh, for example, let's see what it says. Scientific publication sometimes has structure abstract when this thing of multiple labeled sections, right? For example, uh, let's say uh, Elsevier is given, right? Orchid, O R C I D, Orchid ID is given. So they will remove it, right? These kind of structures, right? Common, common structures, commonly used structures, they will be known. And copyright statements will be ignored. So in that sense, that is really good. Let's go. Acting terms, which is going to take time, obviously, because the document number of documents is two thousand five hundred. So obviously, it is going to take. You can minimize it. I'm going to the desktop thing, right? And now we would see. So, for example, if I had to go next thing, right? DOI, yeah, this DOI thing. It is one of the most beautiful, beautiful thing which I discovered on Vosphere. I am going to show you what does this UI thing do. I think it is really good. Vosphere has, it really helped me. You don't need any kind of uh, database, right? You don't need web of science. You don't require Scopus. You don't require Google Scholar. You don't require Dimensions. By using this DOI, DOI option, digital object identifier, right? The 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 the, the fingerprint of the research paper. It's really okay. So full counting, binary counting. There are also the counting methods, different counting methods. Full counting means that all occurrences of term in a document are counted. Binary counting means that only the presence of the absence of a term in a document matters, right? Basically. That means that in binary counting, it will it will automatically clean your data, right? So obviously, it will it is much better in that sense. 
So now you can see that there are 31,000 terms, right? Of which 973 means the minimum number of occurrences, right? So there is this word, for example, let's suppose there is this word called scintometrix. So now, if scintometrix is occurring 10 times, total 10 times, so is it good? Now, as you can see that 973 meets the threshold, so I have to increase. Right. So by doing this, I would gather those keywords which are more, 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 more wide, which which covers the domain, right? Which covers the domain more widely, right? So I would like to see it, and I think in the as far as the keywords are concerned, it is really good to cover these things, right? So I would do it for hundred. Let's go for hundred. Right, 62 meets the threshold. So there the terms which have hundred occurrences will be there. The terms with less than hundred occurrences will not be there. Right? So it would really create. Now out of these 62, the number of terms selected are 37. Right? So basically what they do, they choose the most relevant terms. Right? And by default, it is 60%, but obviously I can increase it. So I will increase it. I will choose my original 62 terms. Now, it is already given. Now, as you can see, that paper, uh, the, the, the publications which I had chosen from Dimension, which I had downloaded from Dimension, was based on Scientometrics. So as you can see, the most occurred term is, let's see, let's click on this, right? So it's on decreasing order. Okay, now decreasing order, right? So, सबसे ज़्यादा जो term है वो research, right? Study. The more used term is research, study, analysis, publication, article, science, journal, field, number, paper, country. These are the keywords which is occurring. Scientometric analysis with 353 occurrences, right? So this is a bibliometric, scientometric study. So yeah, it is covering everything. So you are going to know. Also, it is covering United States, India. Oh, wow, great. So as you can, China, China, China is there. So you can also see that which countries, if they have occurrences, that means that India, United States, China, these are the countries contributing to the scientometry, the field of scientometry. So in that sense, that is really good. Right? Oh, now here we have this our map, right? Now, as you can see that, right? So if you will click on this publication, right? I have kept my arrow suspended on this thing called publication, publication circle. Now, as you can see uh, below, right? So item is publication, cluster one, link 61, 61 links are present. Total link strength is 11,127. And total occurrences 834. So I can go on any node circle. The circle is known as node items, anything. Right. So if I have to tell you uh, basically what is it? So a, a network is a set of items together with the links between the items. Right. So this is a network. Right. Network visualization. What is an item? And items are objects of interest okay items are objects of interest items may for example be publication researchers in this case keywords right uh, which is again which i have already told you presented by circles by default you can change it i will show you that uh each link right so each link has its strength now what is a link a link is a connection or a relation between two items what is the relation between country, year, and country, as you can see, right? So year is linked with country, year is linked with number, year is linked with university, year is linked with collaboration, year is linked with research. If I have to go on research, research is linked with everything. So if I have to increase those scales, right? Right? So you would see which is having the so publication is there, number is there, research is there. These scales are really high, right? Analysis, scientometric analysis. So this is the thing. 
links and total link strengths right so again total link strength is that only which represent what is the what are the number of total links right now i have to make it more aesthetic this map because it is sometimes i am able to read it because i have spent time with this sort but obviously most of you wouldn't be able to read this thing what does it mean for that you have to firstly make it good looking right if that's the correct word i have to use you have to make it good looking right okay so it now as you can see that each and every term is visible right each and every term is visible now as you can see but it is very small now size variation is also there right there is right so these these size variation is linked to the these these lines as you can see right so this shows now if i have to i can also use less these lines right as you can see okay these are the lines which are most you uh, most 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 linked keywords right as you can see now if i have to increase the size as you can uh -huh, right so this is the thing size just tell you about the thing which is right so this is the thing with 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 size what size tells right so thing i can increase the lines obviously so it will be good right thousand is by default and that is a good number colored lines so you want a colored lines or you don't want colored lines right so obviously colored lines is better curved lines or straight lines right so i generally prefer straight lines because that is more visible visibility is good as far as the straight line is concerned when you have less data set when you don't have which i would again show you then you can use curved line that that gives you a good feeling good look but uh, straight lines is good when the data set is large now you can also see the overlay visualization now it is already set at average year so as you can see the yellow presents the year 2017 so these are the keywords right the, the 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 keyword which are in yellow topic keyword china total these are the keyword which occurred most in 2017 it tells you very much about now in 2015 as you can see science paper citation quality so through these keywords and in which year they are representing you can get an idea in which year uh, the, the 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 publication is affecting uh, right is is being affected by what kind of thing as you can see the china is in the year 2017 that means china is active in this field or i if i were to say that china is becoming more active in this field in 2017 after 2017 right so that may be one of the conclusion of this map who so you will read it when so that sense mapping it 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 helps right scores average citations right so it changes now i have changed it through average citations right so 20 for example 20 is the average citation right so for example scientist scientist is getting an average citation of 20 right 20 so this is the thing impact factor 20 right so paper so these are the things now if we i can also score the change by average normal citations normalize now the citation are normalized so these are different scores average publication here which is available now you can also change it obviously i can change it because i have now i, I want to change it by 2020 let's do it right so as you can see in 2020 they haven't picked up any word there is not available is only words available after 2016 2017 yes 2017 so that is the thing uh, also uh, that is because uh, the data which i downloaded from dimensions the 2500 uh, data sets right those were not filtered 
if I would have filtered it, then it would have contained articles in 2002. So those were the articles which I think were uh, distributed around 2017 and less, around 16, 2015, 2017, right? So that is because of the thing, it is not related to that. So it is up to, uh, so filtering is also important. How you filter, how you are filtering it in Web of Science. Web of Science is a number of filters. So the better you are at filtering, the, the, the better you are at data cleaning, basically. So you have to spend your time in this thing. Uh, it is not something which you will learn in one or two and a half, two hour, two hour, right? It is not something. Also, I want to tell you that I am going to also make one video, uh, in detail video of full counting. What is fractional counting? What is the interpretation of map in detail? Each and every aspect. Right, I I think now that it 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 is going to take the video right because it is important. Now I would also show you frames right. This is the frames. Frames is really good, right? Frames is in that sense really good. Uh, visibility as far as the visibility is concerned. Circle is more aesthetic. Frames says frames is also aesthetic by by the way. So it totally depends on you. No journals uh, say you that. You only have to do it in frames or circles right they just want now there is this density visualization as you can see right so you this is also a thing you can use density colors in your right so if i have to use the pf defined color for example plasma I'm going to do so as you can see that article study research these are these are the ones which are related to each other right as you can see the distance is less boss viewer the 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 the, the boss viewer technique which uh, boss viewer uses is boss visualization of similarities right so it depends on the distance right i have to in fact i have i would tell you what it uses right so basically the approach used by this software is distance based that is the items in a bibliometric network are positioned in such a way that the distance between two items approximately indicates the relatedness of the item. Right. In general, the smaller the distance between two items, the higher their relatedness. Right. So as you can see, that field and analysis are the ones with the lesser distance. That means that analysis and field research study article they all are related they all are mentioned in same article right most probably right the, the the article dealing with these keywords are related to each other that you can say so in that sense that is really good right visualization of similarities was the was in was where stands for visualization of similarities and it is a technique a distance based visualization right that is the thing size variation again you can increase the size as you can see that this is author visibility journal visibility is less study is gone so now what to do with this firstly we can increase the visibility by font right so amble i prefer amble why because it is it it creates a uh, bold in bold font right so that is the thing about amble and the visibility is clear, even if it is short, right? So the in that sense, amble is really good. Uh, kernel width you can increase. Kernel width basically the, the the yellow portion. But I would say that the less it is, the better, because now you can see that what are the fields which are related to each. So science, analysis, field, research, publication, database, journal. These are the ones, right? So that that is again up to you how you want to create. Again, as use predefined, so rainbow there is rainbow thing, right? So that is really good thing. That is really good in the sense, right? So this thing, analysis field, right? As you can see, these are connected to each other. They are more red in portion. So in that sense, you it is up to you how you use it, right? It is totally up to you. White and yellow. So that is really thing. So it is up to you how you want to create. Item density, then there is this cluster density. Right, so cluster, cluster colors, 
right basically two in, it is divided in two cluster cluster one contain 31 item cluster two contains 30 item okay so there is cluster three which is containing okay type so you can even change cluster colors you can even change cluster color cluster 3a is not visible by the way i would change it to let's change it to yellow i would say let's change it to yellow right more good okay now close it right so as you can see type right yeah there's only one now that's why it is showing you you can even merge the clusters right the minimum cluster size is one if i would do it two let's see what update clustering right now you can see type is also in the red cluster right type that was in a separate cluster now it's in same cluster right now it's in cluster one now coming to the this thing now how i would also this in a small letters right now how would you do it in capital oh my god oh my god this was the thing which has taken the most time bhai sahab what time lag gaya so see ye capital letter kaise ye kafi hit and trial kafi aasani se mil raha hai tumhe hai na do like it yaar hai na video ko like kar dena taki iski visibility net pe thodi badh jaye na tum ab angrezon ko to main kya hi bolu है ना वो अच्छा नहीं लगता इंग्लिश में बोलना कि अब बट यू कैन ऑब्वियसली डू इट राइट सो कर लो भाई इसे लाइक वाइक कर दो ठीक है ओके सो नाउ कमिंग टू द ओके नाउ अट्रैक्शन एंड रिपल्शन नाउ जस्ट सी वट हैपन्स बाय वुड अट्रैक्शन बाय थ्री रिपल्शन बाय वन एज यू कैन सी ना या दिस इज द थिंग विच हैपनिंग राइट The, the 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 distance distance is basically not affecting, but you you can see as what is happening is this that the visibility is more clear. So why what kind of thing you want, right? So you can do it minus one if I had to say, right? So I have to increase their distance a little bit, right? So I think it is really good. But if I would scale again, then it would be it, right? So I would let it be four. Now let's see what is the distance. Okay, it is good. It is good. Ah, uh, yeah. Now, ah, uh -huh. right now, as you can see, the bibliometric analysis is not visible, right? So now I would like to rotate this thing. Let's rotate it. Let's see what is the thing. Let me. Okay. Bibliometric analysis is okay. 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 Hmm. Let's do it five. Aha. Uh -huh. That is that is nice. That is nice. That is nice. Let's do it six. So it is again. It's a hit and trial. A hit and I wouldn't say hit and trial, but yeah, it's up to you how you want to do it. so now i think 6 and minus 1 are really good thing they are good factors right most of the terms are visible right yes most of the terms are yes 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 okay yeah so in that sense that is really good right you can also flip it vertically it's again it's totally up to you if i had to use it 7 let's see what happens with Hmm. Ah, that is more nice, yeah. That is more nice. Let's see. Yes, 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 yes. Seven and minus one. Seven minus one. I think are good. Really good, right? So now I would show you how to capitalize the uppercase. How to use the uppercase letters in this study, research, publication, right? Technology. so what you have to do now is you have to either you take it the screenshot save it right obviously we would save it but not now not now clipboard you can obviously copy it to clipboard also right so that's the thing options are there you want what kind of scaling do you want i would prefer 400% that would 
but that would take data uh, data in the sense that it would if your file is saved in 1.2 mb you would do it 400 percent then it would be saved in 2 2 to 3 mb right so it is up to you so 400 percent let's do it over 400 percent there is no problem in that uh you want to include border there will be a black color border which will be really good it 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 is good it's up to you again it's totally up to you so let's do it uh okay you can also print it right so if you have a printer and that sort of thing now save option what is this for the was your map file where you want to save it right so was your map file is basically let's save it here keyword keywords production right We will go for the scholarly articles. Okay. Right. So as you can see, this is the DOI, right? And we would copy the link, paste it here obviously i have to only paste the doi right only the doi number not the link right same thing Now I would save it. POI. Okay, so let's start with the web of science now. What is the use of the web of science data? Right. So coming to the web of science. Uh where is the web of science data? Search history, I think. Here yeah. is yes. I would also show you the the, the 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 how web of science looks basically right that is also an important thing actually see how it looks sometimes we don't even see now right web of science data I have to show you let's take the scientometry let's take the scientometrics one how the this thing the text file right so in manual in and in the was your manual there is is already provided how to use uh, what what files you have to download right so for example tab delimited tab delimited file is the one which you download from the web of science database as far as the was viewer is concerned right uh in the case of scopus i think no in the case of scopus i think csv csv file is csv file is uh more preferred right so this is the thing so let's go for firstly i would i have to show you how to use web of science here important actually right so let's see right so how to download web of science so basically you go on the from your university if you have access right simple you type the search string search string and the key key string right basically it's important and uh, yeah it is important so do learn it uh, by the way uh, uh, your 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 if your supervisor is there or anyone who is well versed in this thing he will he or she will tell you how to use the search string or you can again the hit and trial method is the best right so learn it by yourself it would be really good it's easy it's easy but uh, it's a little bit tricky i would rather say that's the thing basically now uh, as you can see this is the how it looks 
what year from where you want to web of science speciality is this that uh, because it is older than scopus scopus i think comes in 2004 but web of science basically was basically firstly it was sign sign citation index si created by eugene garfield right then it was taken over by thomson reuters and then by clarivative analytics so yeah that is the thing so web of science is older so from the if you have to do some historical you have to search from the historical perspective right so in that sense web of science is better so, yeah this is how it looks search button there is this right then you save other file format other file formats is actually important right then then there is this one to five hundred and record and cited references plain text basically now it is given that plain text now it's uh, because it i think this pdf is of the older version now the new version uh, it is tab delimited right so you have to save it in tab delimited it is given in the manual so please prefer the manual refer to the manual right in fact i would show you the manual also Manual is there, I think. Yes, yes, yes. Manual is there. Manual is there. Right. So, I had to show you. Really good. Excellent manual. So, I had to go on the section. Download section. Where it is? Where the download section I should have seen in the index. Okay. Hmm, this is right. So plain text or tab delimited format. Tab delimited is the format which I prefer, which is preferred, which is preferred. Okay, web of science from web of science. Scopus CSV, as I said right and then there is dimension which is save and export that is very simple right so yeah that's the thing that's the thing right oh yes thesaurus file i have i have to read the thesaurus i don't know what has happened to the images why it's not opening there is this technical problem here so okay that's not necessary it was actually it was a plus point if i had shown you but nothing to worry about that because it's not much an issue so let's create a map based on bibliographic data taking now the web of science data right so data from web of science so i have to go to the into matrix into matrix yes so now you can select multiple so click control click control and then two three you can even type it you can even type it by separating it by this quotation mark right or by control by clicking on control and then selecting one right so yeah that is the thing next i'll show you how to use the thesaurus file table and all those things right okay so now in the co-occurrence section as you can see co-occurrence section was not there in dimensions neither it is in public right so it is available only web of science so that is the thing about web of science there are other keywords there are keyword plus all keywords so we will go for all keywords fractional counting now the thesaurus file now how to use it i will show you 419 words right now this is the thing right so it is already sorted out by occurrences in decreasing order now i will export it now i will export it and i will export it in yes keyword okay save it okay ok 
okay now okay so we would choose the thesaurus file cross the thesaurus file right okay now just see it yeah as you can see error while reading was via thesaurus file line 22 a label cannot be both in the label column and in the replace by column so now i have to delete it right and it is also given that in the line 22 it is present again not in this not in this the right now i have done it okay so let's go to that copy now just paste it in thesaurus file right now as you can see i haven't clicked the backspace now let's see what error of if you will not create a backspace right you don't have to change it just keep it there okay 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 right there should be an if one minute one minute i have to check i have to check I, okay okay let's see let's see right now now let's see what happens right next yes incorrect number of columns right so if you would not click the backspace it would just copy uh, the, the number of column will increase and the computer will think that there should be uh, there, there is something written there but it is not but you haven't clicked the backspace so you have to go to that you have to click the backspace it is important it, and now it will be good save right now it will be all good next we made the threshold here and what is the bibliometric right because i have already right as you can see i have mentioned it now bibliometric right that's the thing this now as you can also see that it is very much manipulated so as an researcher you have to be very strong by your ethics because you can change yes you can change the keywords and no one is going to know so you have to be you have to be strong by ethics right you have to be strong by ethics so that is something which is important and i think i have covered most of the things right yes i have covered everything basic aspect the basic thing and i will provide the links to the papers like these small the the, the, the paper which small written which which was the pioneer co-citation analysis right uh, then there was this paper then there is the sleeping beauty sleeping beauty phenomena right there was this paper by george mendel who created the genetics field field of genetics but it it doesn't get cited for uh, for 40 years no, not for 40. I think more than 40. I think more than 40. So these are known as sleeping beauties and signs. Who are the papers which are very important, right? Suddenly they got thousands of citations, right? But there was this period of time where they were sleeping. So that is one of those things. Sleeping beauties, the wonderful papers, right? This, this, this PDF by Erasmus University, Netherlands. Netherlands is I, as far as I am concerned, as I have seen, the Netherlands is very pi uh, pioneering, I wouldn't say. But in the current ages, the Netherlands as a country, because I think, again, due to the due to the presence of Elsevier and those those S-Copers and due to the presence of Elsevier especially, obviously, it is going to affect uh, the, 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 the availability of data is more in, in, these, in that country, basically. Particularly that. Yes, so that is the thing. So, yeah, basically. This is a wonderful PDF. I would provide the link for it. Then there are papers by the creators of Osphere, right? By, by, by Nice, Jan, Manek, and Ludovold. 
was what is it these are some of the great papers which you can read and they are important also visualizing bibliometric networks this is very interesting chapter a very interesting chapter there is also a tool called sitenet explorer sitenet explorer used for citation analysis that is also one of the great uh, what should i say a uh, great uh, software to do citation analysis right so yeah this is one of the things and yeah i think over it is over right and yeah i would now finish it there are many fields where scientometrics is like patent code citation networks of fortune 500 companies right so there are many 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 uh, what should i say significant fields where it has affect right mapping mapping basically scientific network uh, affect on different fields so yeah in that sense that is really important and yeah this is the thing i think and so yeah thank you for uh, seeing this video if you like it please 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 share it with everyone who wants to learn was uh, and yeah this was the video and i think it uh, uh, if you face any problem right do comment to tell me by query by mailing me chivam r461 at the rate of gmail.com and i would get back to you what is the problem you can even go to the website and you can post their question there was your website i am telling you ludo waltman person the co-creator of this was where is extremely active gives the answer in fact most of my queries uh, i have found in that website only so do read those questions on also here are concepts questions the, the the more question you will ask the more clear will be the concept and what is better than the founder themselves the founder also runs course uh, uh, a course uh, i think it is the single course on was where how to use and how to use it for me but it is very expensive uh, if i had to see by inr i think it is rupees 80000 uh as far as the dollars is concerned i think it is 1500 dollars around so it is expensive so this is the this 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 video which i have created is least expensive but obviously it is it it can't be compared with the founders course right but it is here yeah. and thank you thank you so much for seeing this and i would come back with another video in detail video with the interpretations the maps in detail right but that would take some time uh because of my ongoing research not yet so thank you for bearing with me thank you so much